Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Danger here, and this is another On the Hunt episode. I think this is episode four or five. Not really sure which one, but it's a combination of matchboxes and Hot Wheels, and I am going to have one big opening showing you guys exactly what I did get. Um, so... If you're just patient with me, um, I will show you. So, first off, um, I don't remember if I picked this up, but I think I did. Because I know a handful of these Jeffy picked me up. Um, and I know... Um, one of these, I know Jeffy picked me up. Um, in the Hot Wheels. So, I actually got one of the Authentic Self Advocacy Network Hot Wheels special feature. Um, which, it is flipping fast. Right there. Um, if you guys want to see a little bit closer. I don't think this is anything special. I think this is actually a mainline. 103 out of 250. Um, I think Jeffy actually picked this one up for me. Because it is a, a Hot Wheels Celebration Racer. Um, these two I know my friend Jeffy picked me up. Or I picked up myself. When I did uh, my last hunt. But I don't think I added these. So first. I got a Pro Cadillac Project GTP hype car. From 2024. Um, or hyper car. Which. The car's in. Or the car's in kind of rough shape. But it's not like completely bad. Um. This one I kind of had to pick up for my uh, Hot Wheels Screen Time um, collection for 2024. And also being a big James Bond fan. I actually got the Aston Martin 1963 DBS or DB5 or D85. Okay, it's a DB5. So, there's that one. Which, I had to pick that up just for my collection. So, next, I don't know if I showed these off, but this one's actually a Matchbox. Um, and it is a Matchbox Adventure World Tour Jeep Wrangler Super Lift, which I might have actually done this one. Which, I just want to say... I really like the details on this, plus, um, I don't know if there's anything special about it, um, but, moving on, I don't want to take too much time with this video, um, so, this one, I'm pretty sure my friend Jeffy got me, um, aka Mid Michigan Treasure Digger. So if you actually go over to his YouTube channel um, and subscribe to him, um, I will be possibly doing a giveaway. So that being said, for everybody that tries to get him to 50 follower or 50 subs, but moving on. I've actually got a 68 C10 Matchbox from Chevrolet, which I actually really like that sea green color. Okay, so this one I've actually had for a hot minute, um, and it is a part of the 70th anniversary of Matchbox, which I've actually got a couple of 70th anniversaries that aren't loose. Um, 
So this one I decided to pick up. Which, sorry, not trying to give you guys any hints. But it is a Toyota. And in my last YouTube video, I went very, very Japanese crazy. For Japanese made vehicles. Because I actually really like the Hondas. I love the Toyotas. But this one, I, I actually got a second one of this. Which I don't know if this is a 2018. It might be. But here it is. Toyota 4Runner. Which, just to let you know, I actually have the Hot Wheels Premium Edition of that car. Which I'm pretty sure it's pretty much the same. Um, so, and last but not least, out of the the box set, um, uh, before I actually unload the box set. Is this 2021 Ford Mustang Mach E? So, that being said, I'm ex sorry about that, guys. Um, I'm gonna go put this back in my Maxbox collection and I'm gonna go put set these aside. And last but not least, this is actually going to be an unboxing, which I actually picked this one up at Walmart, because I actually really like this set. So, and it is going to be an opening, because some of these I actually do have multiples of, um, I think. So, first off. Right here, it's an 8-pack of Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels 8, which they actually went down from um, 10 back a few years ago to 9, and now they're down to 8, so now I'm just going to open this up, and this is just going to be my loose collection, which... Let's see what I have here. So first, um, I'm gonna pull the rant, the top one, top right, which I think that is actually the gift of it, and it is a. Hold on, I'm actually gonna turn on the light. It is. I think a Volkswagen Jetta. Oh, Volkswagen Golf MK7. Right here. Which I actually really like. Eh, I kind of like the Tampos, but I kind of don't. Because, like you said, they're kind of um, black with um, uh, silver. So I don't really like the black scheme on the bottom because it's kind of hard to read the logo uh, or the car name. Okay, so the next is a night. I don't know what this is. Hmm. Interesting. El Segundo Coupe. HKG 39. Right there. Which number 68. Which, like I said, I kind of like the tires on this. And those are plastic, so there's nothing special, but it is kind of cool. I do really like this, and just to let you guys know, this is actually from 2024, 
I think, or it's 2023. I like the green tires on it, or the rims. It's got a nice gold um, color scheme. Gold, white, blue, red combo. So next is I don't know what this one is, but it's kind of cool. Yeah, I really can't make out what this is, but it is kind of cool. Um, it's got a really cool uh, lighting uh, lid right there. Black and white really is a good color for it, but I don't like the bottom being completely black. Um, so next, I know this one's a Lamborghini um, Scion PKB or RKB P37. Which, like I said, I want to do this video a little bit more in length. Uh, it's got it's got a kind of cool look to it. Like you can kind of see the details. Like if you look right there, you can kind of see the detail of um, the inside. I wish they would have went with another color to really draw your attention away from the tires more so than. Which let's see, it's got a good speed roll to it. Can't complain. But all in all, um, the next one is probably one of my favorites. That I, I saw this and I was like, automatic. It was automatic. And I am also a sucker for a big Japanese car. And it is a... Nissan Skyline... Um, can't remember if it's a 30. I think it is a 30. Which, right here, I love that color green. And the RS Turbo, um, really, br like, everything's kind of in detail with this. Wait, that's one of the finer details. Plus, you can actually kind of see right through windshield. If I could actually get this in the right angle. You could actually see right through the front of the windshield. Um, like I said, Fast and the Furious cars, definitely kind of my thing. Um, so, next. Let's see if this is what it is. Which I don't think this is a DeLorean. No, it's a Lotus Avijo. Which I think I've already got one. I love the flake detail on this. Plus, it's got that DeLorean look to it. Which I gotta say, I'm actually kind of thoroughly surprised by this. Which, like I said, um, I really like the details of this. Plus, you could actually see the Hot Wheel logo right here. Which, I think that is a Lotus. Um, but I'm not sure. Yeah, Lotus Esprit S1. Um... 2014. Whoa. That's a little on the older side. So they are putting 
Which, let's see how this thing rolls. It's not as smooth as I would like, but still pretty cool. Okay, so the next one, I know this one because this one I saw uh, on a video the other day, uh, or yesterday, is the Lotus Aviha. Which, this is the first ever electronic vehicle from Lotus. So, don't really like the windshield screen because you really can't see anything through the back, but you really don't need to. But I love the flaky look, the flaky pewter look of this. Because if you look close enough, you could see the flake in there. Which, I really do like that. And I'm kind of a sucker for that. And last but not least, is the Fiat 500e. Which this says 2018. So this came out of a 2018 um, set. Which... I'm okay with it, which, if you can't play with these, what can you do with them? Or even collect them for your collection. So, oh, this is an 82 Nissan Skyline R30. So I was right about the number. It is a 30. And this one I really can't make out. But they really only gave me one non real car or fantasy make car, which right here I'm not complaining about because I think it's kind of cool looking, actually. This came from 2016, I think. So, they really did mix up the set quite a bit. So, that being said, um, I thoroughly enjoyed opening this up with you guys. Because, like I said, um, when you buy big packs, some of these you play, you could just play with the kids. If you have kids, um, it's perfectly fine. Um, and these are just main lines, so. But if they throw in a, a super treasure hunt or a super chase or a cha or a treasure hunt, definitely do not open. So. As I say in all of my videos, I'm Joshua Danger. Thanks for watching and collect responsibly. And have a great day, guys. I'm out. Peace.